Hey guys, Luke here. Welcome back to episode 10 of Win One Take One. Now, just to start the episode, I'd like to take time. Just make sure that you leave a like if you enjoy the series and, you know, enjoy this video and that. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Let's get on to the game. So, we're going to be taking on the NRL All-Stars to start off the episode. Now, in team news, nothing different, though. We did get Ferguson at the end of, uh, sorry, there actually was something different. But in the back line, Ferguson was who we got and, uh, you know, we could throw him in on the wing. I'm not really sure where we want to play him. But uh, definitely an option in, in the forwards. Rhea Hargreaves comes onto the bench. Um, and also, you know, Jennings Jennings is still in there in the center. So, um, pretty happy with the, the the last few pickups that we've got um, from the last few episodes. If you haven't seen them, go back and watch it. But uh, the All-Stars definitely has some incredible plays that we want to get. Um, I won't name anyone, but the, you know, obviously the All-Stars, you know, the best of the best uh, that are indigenous. So, because uh, as we've already taken on them... Um, but yeah, we're going to pick up a try here through Jennings, and at this stage, pretty smooth sailing, to be honest with you. Uh, they made a few little breaks there, just from bad defense from myself, but um, Jennings picked up an intercept there, so as soon as he gets that, he's not going to be caught. And then Adam Reynolds is going to take the shot from uh, a little bit to the left, but he's not going to miss those sort of goals, or conversions, which I should say. Moving on to the 16th minute, Ben Roberts just runs sideways for a bit, but he does find Ya Yi, uh, who gets tackled about 30, 40 meters out, whatever it was. Then yeah, yeah, he's just gonna go straight through there. That was ever, that was so, so easy. Yeah, so uh, I, in the last episode, I talked a little bit about um, some like tips and that sort of stuff. And yeah, like I said, change of direction. Also, sprinting, um, manage your sprint. You don't always have to sprint. Sometimes it's better to sort of just jog it up and then like put the afterburners on to try and go around someone. I do do it quite a lot. Um, as you can see, not quite here, but yeah, yeah, he's going to try and make it to the line. He doesn't, and there's potentially a strip coming on, but there wasn't. And then right before full time, uh, sorry, half time, I should say, Josh Dugan has a chance here. Gets to the fighter who gets it to Jennings. Jennings has yeah, yeah, coming up on the inside. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get it back to McCulloch, who was like 20 meters behind him, who puts in a grubber and takes it dead. So, you know, a lot of potential in that, that little bit of a, a little passage of play, but nothing ended up happening. And we got a nice little chance there. It was offside player, but we throw it to Akula Yawate. Akula, the thriller, who's just going to run away and score. And I was a little bit annoyed because there was an offside player there. So, did he get involved? I don't know. But just so annoyed that that pass hit the ground and it really shouldn't have. Just the game. Being Rugby League Live 2, doing what it does best, stuffing up. Um, I suppose it was my fault as well. But I think that's Adam Reynolds as well for the All Star side. Yes, it's Adam Reynolds. So, goal kicking for us, goal kicking for them, doing everything. I think, I think every set, he just puts another jersey on. But then Sam Thorday gets the ball here. He gets an offload away. Now we have a great chance here. Fifth tackle. And we're going to kick it straight to Hayne. He's going to race away and he's going to score. Absolute bullshit. I could not believe this is happening. And also, because of Abney's goal, um, you know, it could come could come down to those two points. Really good damage us. And um, very, very annoying that we had such a big lead and we're about to lose it. And both of them have been undeserved. Being of us on the attack with a shitty intercept or, you know, the ball was put on the ground and then somehow made it through. Benji Marsh taking over the goal kicking duties for them, but I'm going to go for the short kickoff here. Now, this is a bit of a weird one for me. I thought Ed made the 10. You be the judge. What did you think of that? But Matt Scott comes up with a huge tackle. I think it was Matt Scott, but the ball ended up falling, falling to Gallon, and then we gave away a penalty just to hold him down. Then, yeah, yeah, he just comes flying out of the line. He just gets palmed off, and I'm not sure who it was. He went score. We'll see. Uh, soon, and it was Uate scoring his second, but just palmed him off ever so easily. Then Adam Reynolds to keep the goal, just to make it a bit of a, a lead that we can't really get to. But we got 10 minutes left. If we get a short kickoff, maybe we're still in it, maybe not, I'm not sure. But we are going to go for that short kickoff. Hopefully, we can make amends for the last time. And Ben Hennis under the ball, but yeah, yeah, he's going to get to it first. And he gets stuck off straight away, so not the ideal thing. And I thought for a second he was going to go over the, the sideline there, so that's why I showed that. Inglis does his best there, creates a little bit of space for Vatavai, and we do end up scoring. So, we are a chance. Not a big chance, but we are a chance. Oh, so that pass is very loopy, and I'm surprised it wasn't intercepted, but you know what, we got it. And there's another conversion that we've missed. So, uh, Reynolds shooting boots are not on today, but you know what, it doesn't really matter um, at this stage. We already missed the first one, so, you know, it doesn't matter. But Inglis, on full time, can he take it around? Hey, no, he can't. Hayne just gets him, and that's game over. 18-14. That means we're going to lose two players, and I'm super disappointed. We just got a few new players. Probably one of the best sides. Probably the best side we had so far. Well, it is, obviously. Um, and we're just going to lose two important players. Hargrave has been one of them, being the number 17. We just got him last episode. And then Marnie Vatavai. So disappointed to lose him. Although I do have to say, 
we have some great backups. We can put, we've got so many wingers and centers and that, and this might be the time that Blake Ferguson comes into the squad. Have to wait and see what our team lineup is, but uh, moving on to the next game, taking on the Exiles, which if you're not aware of what they actually are, so this is a Super League based side, it's a rep side, and it's for all the Australians, New Zealand, basically people who aren't from England, and they play in this and they take on England like midway through the season or something like that, I don't know the exact specifics of it, but something along the lines of that. See Soliola, Pat Richards, Brett Hodgson, Travis Burns, a lot of people you probably recognised. Um, I wouldn't say there's superstars in there. I think Steve Menzies is in there at the time. Um, so, you know, so there's some pretty solid plays in there. Probably not up to like an NRL stand. I'm not sure how many would actually make it into the squad, but that remains to be seen. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to see how we go. Soliola goes back there and collects that ball. That was a really great play there. Unfortunately, nothing really came of it. But um, got another chance here, 14 minutes in. And, you know, I was looking for blood this episode, uh, this game, I should say, to be honest with you. Um, just lost two players. I was super frustrated. I was like, I really want to fuck up someone right now. Um, and Ferguson, who's come in on the right wing for your Vatavai, picks up intercept, and he goes through, he scores. Now, Ferguson and Vat Vatavai, two sort of different players. But, you know, in some ways, Ferguson might be a bit better. Um, I don't know, seems a little bit faster or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, obviously, Vatavai, a big loss. But, the wing is probably a position that we can cover quite adequately. Uh, then we got Ferguson on the ball here again. I think it was Scott who did the offload. A few little offloads there that um, came a bit late, but it seemed to work out quite well. Nearly ended up losing the ball there, but as you can see, this is what I'm talking about, the offloads coming in late. Uh, ben Robertson was that time there, but just because it was half time, I thought I'd chance our arm there. Go for a little bit of a chip and chase. Didn't work out. Uh, it's only ever worked out of, like a few times, and that was with like Sam Tompkins and myself career. Um... Yeah, 47 minutes in, probably the first set that we had. Make a bit of a break there. Jennings is caught with a ball. And then we switch it over to the other side of the field. A little inside ball to Sam Thigh, and that was an absolutely beautiful play there. Inglis just going to get the Ferguson, but we passed it way too early. Inglis maybe could have went himself there. McAuliffe going to pass it on to Matt Scott. Gets it on to Trent Merrin. He's going to barge his way over. They are going to go up to the video ref here. It's just a little bit of an animation thing that it automatically does, if you're not aware. So let's take a look. Obviously, gets the ball over the line. And even if he didn't get the ball over the line, it still would have gave it a try. And much like the referees in real life, they have no idea what they're doing. But Adam Reynolds, from right in front, to make 10 to 12, which he does pretty, pretty easily. Uh, I reckon I could have kicked that one. Uh, moving on to the 74th minute here, pretty late on. Sort of looking like we're not going to get that extra player, but I don't really care to be honest. It, it's not a great side. It's not that we're taking on anyway. It's not offense, but it's just, it is what it is. Inglis and uh, Duke and Lincoln up there before we get it to Reynolds. Reynolds actually overran the play, had to jump back and grab the ball, but the speed was still there as if we just ran onto it. It, it really seemed like it was a video game. Oh, wait, well, it is. Um, Reynolds, the, goal, uh, the try scorer, I should say, converts his own try. And, uh, you know, we have a chance to get that extra player, but. It didn't work out. We didn't even have really a main highlight or whatever. But Greg this man of the match, an 18-0 win. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty big win for us. Um, and also not conceding a try that was nice. There was no real, we weren't any danger of conceding a try either. But let's look at the players that we get. We get Brett Hodgson, who I can't believe still plays, but I think he plays for Warrington. He, he might have retired right now, but at the time, you see he was 34 there. Seems like a solid player, but. Yeah, and then Steve Menzies is even older, 39, and from what reports, was still playing quite well. He played in the nines last year or this year, I can't remember what it was, but you know he has, he has the potential to slot into our side maybe on the bench. And then Zeb Taylor, who actually has a fair bit of NRL experience, um, he also another one who he probably won't make the side, but I don't know, he's, he's a solid player, at least I know who he was. Uh, but that's where the video is going to end, I'd like to say thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you can subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, leave a comment. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMyT is my Twitter handle. And that's where I'm going to end the video. Bye, guys.